So the first thing you guys are going to need is obviously the game itself. Now the editor will work with any version of the game, whether that be Roll Away, Cooler World, or Cooler Quest, or any of the demos. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Cooler World because that's the most known version. So and that's what I have on me. But once you have the game downloaded, you want to go ahead and navigate to CoolerWorkshop.net. Now, once again, huge thanks to Murphy. He was the one who developed this website for us, but so huge thanks. So once you have it loaded up, go ahead and go to the tools section and go to Cooler Workshop Level Editor. Now this is where you're going to be spending most of your time actually editing the level file. So once you have it loaded up, I can teach you guys the controls. So you can press the space key to add a block into the viewport. And once you have a block added, you can move it around with these arrow keys. So the red arrow moves it across the X axis. The green arrow moves it across the Y axis and the blue arrow moves it across the Z axis. So you can add different types of blocks by selecting these up here. So if you have the second one selected or the fire block selected, you can add a fire block. With the ice block selected, you can add an ice block. With the invisible block selected, you can add an invisible block. And with the acid block selected, you can add the acid block. Now you can add as many blocks as you want, as long as it doesn't exceed this bounding box. Now this bounding box is the limit of how big a level can be in the game. So if a block exceeds the bounding box, it will not render in the game. This is limitation with the game, so it is completely out of our control. But as long as it's inside the bounding box, it should render completely fine. Now that the basic controls are out of the way, I can actually teach you guys how to make a level. So as an example, we will be creating the first level in the game. So first, we will be making the layout just like so. All right, so now that the layout is created, we can actually start adding the items. Now to add an item, just select the block that you want to actually affect, and its six sides will appear here. So if I wanted to add, let's say, the player spawn on top of this block, it would be in the positive Y direction. So it would be on this one right here. So you have a huge list of items to choose from. Obviously, the player needs to spawn here, so I'll add the player spawn right there. Now there's a coin right here, so I'll go ahead and add a bronze coin. This is the bronze coin. Next one I'll add is an exit. Now I'll continue the rest of the level just like so. So the key is right there. We'll add the fruit on this corner. That's basically how all six sides of the block work. So if I wanted to add something on the top of it, that'd be in the positive y direction, so it'd be in the positive y face. And if I wanted to add something on the right side, it'd be in the positive x direction so it'd be on the positive x direction face i would select it on this face but once the level that you actually want to create is done you can click on this export button up here and it'll go and download the level file that has now been created all right so now that we have our first level created i'll go ahead and create a second one so i can just go and refresh the page and we'll start from a clean fresh state so now i'll go ahead and just create a quick second level as well so I'll go ahead and place the player spawn right here. So it'd be on the positive Y axis so on the top of the block. And I'll put the exit up here so that'll also be on the top of the block. All right, now, if I want to change the uh, the type of blocks these are, uh, let's say I wanted them to be fire blocks, I could just set them to fire right over here. Instead of having to delete them and then manually, you know, and then I'll go and add some coins on the top of them. So I'll do a blue coin, or sorry, blue. That's a blue gem, blue coin. Give me a blue coin, and then we'll go and put a key on top of here. So key. And look, let's say I wanted to put I don't know a key down here. So that would be in the negative Y position. So on the bottom of the block. So right there. And then once I'm done, once again, just export it. And it'll go and save it in your downloads folder. All right, so now that we have both of our level files created, we can go into our downloads folder and drag them into the desktop. Now I'm gonna call the first level, level one. And I'm gonna call the second level, level two. Perfect. So now that we've created the two levels that we want to add into the game, we have to convert them into a .pack file. Now think of a .pack file as a file that contains levels. So 
all of the levels in hero are contained in one file called hero.pack. So we got to take these two level files and convert them into one file and call it, you know, hero.pack or something. So I made a tool that you can find on our website by going, you know, to the website itself and going into tools and going to the Cooler World Pack tool. So once you go here, you want to go into the releases and you want to download the zip file. Let's download. Once again, I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'll go ahead and extract this zip file. Once you open it up, obviously we want to create a pack file. For extract pack file, you would use this, but I want to create one. So you just double click on it and you select the two files that you want to create the pack file with. Now, what's very important is that you want these down here to be in the order that you want the levels to be played. So this right here, it would play the first level and then the second level. That's how I want it. If I wanted to play the second level in the first level, I would have it ordered like so. So this would play the second level first and then the first one. But I want the first level to play first. So this would play level one and then level two. So you want these to be in the order that you want the levels to be played. So once that's correct, you want to click open. And in the same directory as the executable, it'll spit out an output.pack file. So now that you've generated the output.pack in a previous step, now we need to inject it into the game. So in order to do that, you will need a, another and final tool that you can download from our website called PSX Mode 2. So just click on it and click on download file now. It'll download in your downloads folder. So just go to your downloads folder and extract the raw file. Now it's extracted, go into the folder and go into this PSX mode two folder. Basically where this PSX mode two EXE is. So in this folder, you want to go ahead and drag in your game, uh, go ahead and copy and paste it in there because this will inject it into your game. Uh, so it'll, you don't want to overwrite your original game. So this will act as a backup. So we'll go and rename this as custom because this will hold our custom levels that we created. And then you want to go ahead and drag our output.pack folder or the file in there as well or copy and paste whatever you want to do so now that's done you want to go click up here in this directory and press backspace and type in cmd and press enter this will open up a terminal in the current directory so in here you want to type in ps and press tab so it's psxmotu.exe um, so that's the first thing that you want to type in and then you want to type in the actual name of the bin file that you want to overwrite. So we want to do the bin file, not the key file. If you have an ISO file, you want to type in, you know, the name of the file. So custom.bin. So this is the file that you want to inject. So now we want to actually do uh, what file we want to overwrite. So to explain this, we got to look into the game's actual um, layout. So every single world in the game has its own folder. So hero, which is the first world in the game, Inside of the folder has a hero.pack. These are all of the levels excluding the final levels um, that are in the hero level or the hero world. So we want to go into this hero directory and replace this hero.pack, okay, which is inside the bin uh, file with our custom one. So you want to press backspace, type in hero because you want to go into the hero directory and we want to replace the hero.pack. All right, press space and then replace it with the custom.pack that we added in there. I'm going to press enter. It'll go and inject it into the bin file. All right, so now that we've injected our custom pack file into the game, now that's all that's left is just to play it. So I'll go ahead and use EPSX emulator to demonstrate this and go to run ISO and run the custom.q. As you can see, it loads into the game perfectly fine. Now, as you see here, uh, when I loaded into the game, it was facing the wrong direction. And later releases of the level editor will add an option so you can select which way the ball will be facing when you load into the game. Uh, but as you can see, our second custom level is also in here. So I can go and beat the level real quick. And yeah, it works perfectly fine like how it would in game. No errors whatsoever. And once I beat this level, it'll go and send us to the next world because that's all we added in the, the hero level or the hero world and now it set us to hills and it's just the regular levels because we didn't mess with the hill stop pack but yeah 
so that's how the level editor works so once again huge thanks to murphy for working with me on this project this project almost near took two years and it's finally public now so thank you guys for watching and i hope you all have a good one